first of all, when we talk about rule of law, and I will probably be a legal, uh, boring legal person here, but I have to say that. Uh, when we talk about legal, like relational governance, AI, legal governance of AI, we usually hear the sentence that we don't have any law applicable to AI. That's, a, that's completely wrong. We don't have a specifically applicable law in Turkey to AI, yes, but we have data protection law, we have the constitution, we have rules on freedom of expression, we have rules on copyright. So we already have an established, well-established legal rules and provisions and also jurisprudence applicable to AI. And when we talk about rule of law, we just, uh, take that into account, we must also know that we already have an establishment, we already have a culture, and we should actually build upon that, whatever we are going to do. And uh, if we are going to talk about EU relations, EU Act, when, we, when transferring EU legislation to, uh, well, to Turkish national legal system, actually we have to be mindful of, mindful of uh, direct verbatim translation. We shouldn't be doing that because Turkey is a very different country in many aspects. We are not a union. We are an, nation state and we have our own culture, our own geography, our own human resources, so we have to be mindful of that and actually tra when transferring that rules and regulations, we should be taking into account our legal culture, also economic and so uh, social elements. And when talking about trust, I think legal rules and regulations have deep, deep connections with trust issue. I think currently, especially the young generation, I, I don't know if I'm old enough to call a generation young, but I think that's happening right now. Uh, so uh, young generation trusts too much, too heavily, too quickly to AI. 